Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Tactical Chaos One, and we are here with another Division 2 Polarity Switch Global Event, and we are on day three of the challenges. So right now we're gonna go over that. But before we do that, you guys slide on over, click that red subscribe button real quick. Welcome to the Chaos Crew. I hope you guys enjoy this channel. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and ring the bell to stay tuned for all the upcoming tips, tricks, gameplay, guides, walkthroughs, and much, much more. Alright, so what we got going on today for the Day 3 Challenges is... We got Eliminate polar Polarized Hostiles After Destroying All Their Weak Points in Armor, times 50. Shock 3 Hostiles of the Same Polarity at the Same Time. Take over a control point without shooting opposite polarities or leaving capture or leaving the capture radius. Complete any main mission on challenging difficulty or above. Eliminate positive polarity hostiles with a specialized weapon or specialization weapon and eliminate polarized hostiles with the melee attack. So for I forgot to do the numbers, so I'm sorry. For the Shock three hostiles at the same t same polarity. That's only one time. Take over a control point with the that's just once. Complete any main mission on difficulty or above. That's once. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to do that. And eliminate positive polarity hostiles with the specialization weapon times 25. Eliminate polarized hostiles with the melee attack times 10. So you guys want to do that. If you guys have the Sweet Dream shotgun, that'll eliminate targets as long as they're not a leech right away with the melee. Or you guys could, if you guys got the Lady Death, that's another good weapon to start uh, doing melees with. It's not a one-hit melee, but it does have 500% melee damage, so it helps out a lot. And if you guys are lucky enough to have gotten the Claws Out Named Holster, put that with the Lady Death, and that is 1,000% melee damage. Will definitely help you with eliminating polarized hostiles with the melee attack. Um, so then, with the specialization weapon, you guys could always use Tip of the Spear gear set, or... I mean, you could use whatever build you're using and just use a specialization weapon. Of course, you guys know that. Just trying to make it easier on you. And um, taking over a control point without shooting opposite polarities. You just got to be on point with that. Make sure that you are direct, only shooting targets that are the same t uh, color as your arm. As your arm polarity. Yeah, so... Then we'll get on to eliminate polarities, tossels, destroying all their weak points. You could use the... Um, oxidizer chem launcher for that if you guys want to destroy their armor without having any trouble that helps out a lot or you guys could just aim for their weak points either way that should help you guys get through that for shocking three hostiles at the same time of the same polarity look for a group that's the same polarity and put creeping death on your backpack and just hit them with the scorpio shotgun and that should spread it or use a status effect build with creeping death on it the eclipse protocol so that way it spreads because they forgot you don't get shocked the first shot so that wouldn't work with the um creeping death because it would go to the poison would transfer to them so sorry about that wrong tip you have to use the eclipse protocol and kill the guy with the shock and it will spread the shock to three people at once that works or just toss out a shock trap too you could do that either way those uh, should help out with taking that. That's only got to be done once, so it shouldn't be too hard. You guys should be able to get through that pretty quick. All right, that's it for day three challenges.